It does seem very, uh, rather serious, Michael, and certainly uh, when you read the statements that have been put forward by the Munich police, then you can see that they are taking these threats as very serious and also saying that they do believe that they're very credible. One of the things uh, that they've said in their statement is they say that they have information that they're taking very seriously that an attack in the Munich area could be planned at some point tonight. Now, that's one of the reasons why they've closed the Munich Central Railway Station, which is a very large railway station and was also uh, one of the main places that refugees actually arrived in Germany. It was the main point where refugees arrived in Germany uh, during the summer, so it's one that really became very well known internationally as well. The other railway station that was also closed is the Pasing Railway Station, which is in the west of Munich, also one that's used more by commuters to get into Central Munich uh, rather than one that would be very well known throughout the country uh, to a wider uh, part of the population but it's certainly something where the Munich police is saying it's taking these uh, informations that they've gotten very very seriously and they're also urging people not to go towards larger crowds of people to stay away from larger crowds they say that they've put additional police on the road and they're trying to come to terms with the threat level that they've received uh, and also try and find possible suspects however they haven't put forward any information indicating what kind of plot this might be who might be behind it where they got this information from but it's certainly uh, from the information that we're getting uh, seems very likely that this has something to do with some sort of possibly planned attack on the railway station because we've also heard that there are no trains leaving any of those stations the Munich railway station the main railway station as well as the pausing station at this point Michael and, and, and Fred, yeah, they're describing it as an urgent warning, this talk of concrete mm -hmm. information, but it, it's literally a little late in the night uh, when celebrations are well underway well, in Germany, right? Well, it is quite late in the night, but it's not midnight yet in Germany. In fact, uh, we're uh, about uh, eight minutes uh, away from midnight right now. So uh, the main celebrations would be kicking off uh, in a couple of minutes. It certainly would be the time that crowds would still be gathering uh, in the larger Munich area. Again, they have not banned fireworks like, for instance, uh, was done in Brussels. They also really haven't put in place uh, additional security measures either. They do have additional police uh, on the streets, of course, in light of the general uh, terror warning situation that you have across wide parts. Parts, uh, of Europe, but they haven't put in place uh, additional measures so far. So certainly this is something that does come uh, very late in the game, but uh, the Munich police, again, on its Twitter feed, really uh, putting out very urgent information, uh, asking uh, the, the population to stay away from larger gatherings at this point in time. It comes late in the game, but it also comes really at the culmination of New Year's celebrations uh, in Germany that were a little less than uh, six minutes away from at this point in time, Michael.